Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign uh, Aquarius, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, they are general readings. So remember, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. Don't forget to use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week you have the magician card right, this card is all about your own personal power. Now <clears throat> the fact that you have this I kind of get the feeling that this week you're going to be given an opportunity to flex said power right so you know, the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. And, uh, you know, if you want to look, look to see who somebody is, see how they treat their inferiors. This is very much going to be one of those weeks. And I actually feel like, and not in like a scary way, but I feel like this is a test. Uh, there is a test that's being set forward by the universe in some way, shape or form. And I kind of get this feeling that it's like... I want to give you this gift, right? But I want to make sure that you're going to use it to the best of your ability, first of all. And second, that you're going to use it for the best outcome for everybody that's involved. There's something this week that feels really fated about this. I don't know why, but I just get this sense that you're going to be given a chance to flex your power, right? In some way, shape or form. So step into it powerfully for your foundation card you have the six of cups so the six of cups uh, very often represents the past um, and in a lot of ways it's memories right so the fact that you have this um, that's going to be your actions card <laughs> so the fact that you have this combined with the magician card there's some old opportunity that's coming back up for a second a second chance a second shot a second bite at the apple as they say and in a lot of ways, I feel like this is something that you've either wanted for a long time or something that you've worked towards really hard, but maybe haven't seen the results for it in some way, shape or form as well. This could be a reconnection with a very powerful person. Remember, the magician card represents people that are at the height of their game, people that have really done something, uh, you know, worthy of acclaim, let's say. And in a lot of ways, it feels like this person may be shining on you. So pay attention to the invites and the opportunities that come up this week. One, because they may have something to do with your past, or two, because they may be coming around again. For those of you that are continued subbies, you know Rafi loves you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. For your actions and options this week, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Well, listen, you know what? I'm going to be selfish for a change. I can guarantee you this card shows up for us in the right place because I myself have been grafting, right? I've been working really, really hard. And I know a lot of Aquarian people have also been working really hard. And I know at the moment you might think, okay, are there any results from this? Because at the moment it just feels like hard work, <laughs> right? And I can tell you that the results are absolutely there, right? If you are ready, willing, and able to put in that hard work, the results are absolutely promised to you. So this week, you've got to dig even deeper, you've got to work even harder, and you've got to keep going. There is a connection or an opportunity that comes in this week that has the potential to change everything, providing you are willing to do the work. For your communications and conversations, we've got the full card, right? new things, new places, new people, new energy, but coupled with the magician card, this is somebody that you don't know yet or somebody that you have yet to interact with. This could be a very powerful person that is in a position of authority to help you. This could be somebody who has been watching you from afar and I kind of get that feeling as well. This could be somebody that has been watching you from afar, waiting to see how you do, you know, like, and this, maybe they are the ambassador of the universe. They may not even know that, but maybe, just maybe, this person's been watching you from afar and they've been saying, okay, you know what, I like what they're doing, let's see how they keep going. And then at the right person, at the right time, steps in in some way, shape or form. Remember, this is new everything and very often what we don't see coming, right? Now, usually the full card is an event or uh, a, a, a happenstance, an experience, and it's usually so... Um, 
it's usually so random and so sort of buried in everything else that happens around it that we don't really take it for what it is at the time. And then in hindsight, we're like, hmm, okay, this, this kind of makes sense, right? That this was the kicking off point for something. Well, because it's coupled with the Magician card, which is the card that follows the Fool, this actually feels for me like there is going to be something that happens this week that you will know straight away. This is going to change my life. This is going to be something that is, you know, that I look back on from here on in and I remember for a long time to come. There's uh, just this sense that a lot of timelines and paths and old ideas are all converging now. So it'll be interesting to see how it shows up. For those of you that work for somebody else, this could be a, a spontaneous promotion. It could be that your boss comes to you and says, look, we've got a, a program opening up that we'd really like to put you through. Are you interested in studying or taking something new on board? This could be where your teachers or the teachers of your children come to you and say, look, we've got a real shot here to do something with this person. Are you interested? For some of you, this might be something you've only dreamt about. For some of you, this is something that you have, you know, dreamt and obsessed about and it just seems to elude you. And this week, suddenly it looks like it's maybe back on the table for a lot of people. I'm excited about this. For your um, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, this could be new clientele, new people coming in, new ways of doing the work that you do. This could be you seen in some way, shape or form as a person who is at the height of their game, as somebody that is a contender in their own field, in their own right. Uh, I love this, I absolutely love this. And then for those of you that are retired or no longer working this week, you've got work to do and that work is spiritual work right this week you dig deep you get into it and even if you're not spiritually inclined or somebody that even has a spiritual practice get your you get your tushy on with it right this is the week where you need to make do uh, not make do make good on some of those one day i'll start meditating uh, dot 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 you know ad nauseum whatever they are for your love and relations you've got the seven of swords so seven of swords not an easy energy right opposite the full card in the communications and conversations sector uh, for a select few of you you may hear something through the grapevine this week about your partner and i gotta say with this combination of cards this is one of those times where you can trust the information that's come through um, and I don't want to sow, you know, seeds of discord or whatever, but you guys know me. I always give you the real. When it's good, I'm going to tell you. When it's bad, I'm going to tell you. Um, that's just who I am, right? It's how I read. Now, what I will say to you with this Seven of Swords, for those of you that are partnered or in long-term relationships, there is that feeling to me. It's like something that is... It, could, it doesn't have to be, oh, you know, oh, so-and-so's cheated on you. It doesn't have to be that. It could be... You know, maybe your partner at times has a bit of a drinking problem and so-and-so sees them down the pub when they were supposed to be, I don't know, out to work for the evening. Do you know what I mean? Like it could be something like that, but whatever information is coming to you about a partner this week, unfortunately that information is likely to turn out to be true. Because of the other combination of cards and the way that this Seven of Swords is being pulled in, I'm inclined to say that the information that you get is accurate um what you probably do also want to look at as well though is the source of that information just because somebody's right about what they're telling you doesn't necessarily mean that they have your best interests at heart so you need to make sure that, that those swords of sword la, 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 swords of discord actually yeah that i like that swords of discord are um uh, you know, not being sown on purpose, right? Just consider, even if the information is, is pertinent and it's true, you just need to be sure, okay, so that's fine, but you felt the need to tell me why. For those of you that are single, um, if you've got your eye on someone, uh, and I like, I, I'm just gonna call it, right? Aquarius people, we like people who have their shit together, right? Bottom line, yes, we can be flaky and yes, we can be detached and aloof and all of those things, absolutely. But for the most part, when Aquarius says they're gonna show up, when they say they're gonna do something, they do it. So when we get someone who presents all of this and then behind that, they're all just like a, a big old mess, we get a bit like, ooh, okay, <laughs> I'm not sure how much, right? Or if I am gonna get involved with that, at least let me make an informed decision, 
right? This week it looks like you're gonna catch someone that you're seeing out on something and when you do, it's gonna reveal another side to them and you may be like, you know what, I'm not 100% sure I wanna continue with this. It will be your choice. For your money and materials, you have the strength card, right? So whatever this thing is, interesting as well, because the strength card is Leo, the full card has that Aquarian element. But I find this really, really interesting. Because look, right, there's obviously some connection coming in this week that is either going to be very lucrative, that has the potential to see your earning potential go up through the roof, but it's going to take, because it's the strength card, it's going to take guts, right? Especially with the full card there as well. You're having to take a, either a leap of faith or you're going to have to, right, gut up, right? You're going <laughs> to... You know that moment where you, you like, I don't know if anybody else needs to do this, but when we were younger, you say, yeah, punch me in the stomach. <laughs> right? That moment at which you psych yourself up or you, right, you, you steal yourself against the hit or the whatever that you know is coming. There's something about this move this week that will feel like a gamble. It will feel like a, oh, you know, this is uncomfortable. But it has the potential to truly make something wonderful for you happen. Uh, now, I'm not saying, you know, be reckless, but with the full card, take a calculated risk, right? You, take, you, you can take a calculated risk. And with the strength card in the money and material sector, bet on the fastest horse. If you're right, and I'm not talking specifically about gambling here, although that makes sense. But if you're making a bet or you're making a gamble of some sort, you make sure you bet on the thing that you pretty much know is going to do what it says on the tin, right? When it comes to, uh, as an example, let's say, um, I, I'll give you a really good example because I've got a friend that does this. Uh, if you worked in recruitment and you had two candidates, one looks good on paper, but you get the feeling that they're a bit, mm, you know what, this might not happen. And then the other one ticks across the board, right? But this one's making all the noise. I'm going to be there. I'm going to do it. And your gut's like, mm, yeah, but you know what? This is the faster horse. Go with the one that you know is going to deliver, right? That's as much as I'll say. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, uh, with these cards specifically, for some of you, you could be going to see an acupuncturist, uh, very possible. Um, when it comes to your uh, uh, strength card, it's also your heart as well. So like your heart and your cardiovascular system. If you're not doing your cardio this week, you get started. And then finally, when it comes to the home and environment, Looks like something new is coming into the home. For some of you, this could be a pregnancy. For some of you, this could be new working or office space or office gear. Maybe you're buying a new PC, etc. Whatever you're bringing into the home directly feeds into one, how you present yourself in your work and two, how well you can do the job that you do. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.